Don't let me down, Games Workshop. Come on. Ooh. Oh my god. I did see rumors that there was going to be Imperial Guard in this, so this is nice. These are Cadians, so... Mm, spicy. Look at this man. Welcome to Space Marine 2, the newest installment in the Warhammer 40,000 franchise. Brought to you by Saber Interactive and Focus Entertainment. I want to see more of the game. I'm Oliver ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Textures look good. Characters look good. Creative director oh, on the project. Come on. And today I'm going to ooh. take you on a tour of the game's story, game modes, progression, and a whole lot more. Oh my god. Was this man flying in space? A tour of the game's story, game modes, progression, and a I swear this is actually in the void. Like this is not on the planet. Huh. Okay, that's kind of interesting. A whole lot more. Giving you a taste Titus. of what's to come when the game releases on September 9th. Okay, so the campaign. I did Space see rumors Marine. that Gilliman was going to be in the campaign. I don't know if that's true, but... Two is a third-person action shooter set in the grim, dark universe of Warhammer 40,000. We know this. We the do know this. The campaign mode allows you to experience this epic story either solo or with up to three players in co-op. Okay. Space Marine 2's story begins a century after the events of the first game. Okay. So we know that in the time that's happened, Titus was demoted and he was given over to the Inquisition and there was this whole thing of like him having the chains around his wrist and him like being on this sort of penitent crusade and all that. So we know this already. Captain Demetrian Titus is a Demetrian, you know, Demetrian Demarcus Titus. Enhanced super soldier and hero of the Oh Asian my race. God. Bro, some of the maps already look insane. Made your kind from the galaxy. Titus has returned to the Ultramarines. You're a lieutenant now. Where he is demoted to lieutenant. Yeah, so he was a captain. No captain. And forced to prove his loyalty in the heat of battle. Yeah, On a distant yeah. world, he must face one of humanity's most fearsome adversaries, the Tyranids. Okay. As you take control of Titus and his fellow battle brothers, Chiron and Gadriel, you'll be thrown into the thick of a war of galactic proportions. I'm confused though, because it was kind of implied in some of the previous trailers that there, well, allegedly, that there were going to be Chaos Marines that you would face off against, not just the Tyranids. So I'm confused. I know the Tyranids are the main adversary, but I expected that they were going to announce more. You'll be thrown into the thick of Like, what is happening here? Proportion. That was a chaos... No, 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 no. Wait a second. I mean, this is clearly an ultramarine fighting a chaos cultist. So we know that part of the campaign is going to be versus chaos, not just the Tyranids. The war of galactic proportions. Thanks to our unique sword oh technology. Oh my god. Allowing us to render hundreds of real enemies on screen at the same time. I beg. One of the things I'm so scared about with this game is I want it to be playable. Because Dark Tide was disgustingly unplayable. Unique. Bro, look at how many, like, swarm enemies you're facing. If in the online mode or in the campaign, this just destroys your PC, it's gonna kill the game. I swear to god. Like, swarm technology. Allowing us to render oh my hundreds God. of real enemies on screen at the same time. Oh, uh, bro, my graphics card is crying already. We'll face seemingly endless waves of crawling, running, and swooping enemies as far as the eye can see. You must repel the terror. Ooh, flamethrower. ...invasion and rid the system of the Xenos threat. Battling in the cluster. Wait, rid the system. So does that mean we're going to be fighting on more than one planet? Because we did see that there was that um, ultramarine that was like fighting in some sort of void battle. So maybe it's going to be on more than one planet. So maybe it'll be on a hive world, a jungle world, and then some remote place as well. So maybe it's not going to be on one planet. From Good to the know. jungles of Kadaku, the majestic planet-spanning metropolis of Avarax. Ah, oh, so it is going to be on more than one planet. That's kind of awesome. Other epic locations. Oh my god, so it's going to have multiple worlds that you can play on. It's not just one world. After each successful mission, you'll return to the Battle Barge. A space fortress serving oh. as the Ultramarines orbital. Oh my god, bro. Look at this aesthetic with the Emperor there himself. This is awesome. ...as the Ultramarines orbital headquarters. Here, you can gather crucial intel by interacting with onboard personnel. Okay, so I assume this is where you actually have to 
meet your other like meet pvb players like that would be the lobby where you meet um other squads okay so these are the three planets that space marine 2 is set on so it does um occur in an actual system not just on one world but within an actual star system review your next targets and tailor your loadout to your upcoming mission. Wait, wait. So this world that looks like a bit messed up, is this going to be like the world where we're going to see chaos? Because this world kind of looks like it's infested with chaos. It looks like the world has been corrupted. So maybe that's how, you know, they integrate the sort of chaos aspect alongside the Tyranid aspect. And tailor your loadout to your upcoming mission. Okay, loadouts. Whether you prefer close combat or ranged warfare, the Ultramarine's wide range of equipment offers you an Okay, so we know that you can change your loadout already, so that makes sense. But the one thing I want to know is, can you get specific loadouts based on what chapter you're from? So if you're an Ultramarine, is your loadout choices different to if you're a Thousand Sons or an Iron Warrior? That's the one thing I want to know. Array of devastating oh God. and unique special abilities. Oh my god. approach is certainly wise, since performing a brutal melee finisher replenishes your armor and keeps you in the fight for longer. Ah, uh, okay. So that's kind of cool. So they make it so that you're encouraged to have some melee. You can't just rely on full range weapons, which is cool. Because if it was just, you know, like you can pop people's head off with a sniper from across the map, then it takes away the whole melee aspect, which is what makes, you know, 40k so cool. So that's nice. That's a nice feature. Shred the enemies of humanity oh, with gosh. the iconic chainsword. Oh. oh yes. Liquefy them with the melter rifle. Ooh, okay. Or crush them with the mighty thunder hammer. Ooh. Choices, How I love you it. Vanquish the Tyranid invaders is entirely up to you. Your duty is not yet. Done. Okay, co-op. Nice. Beyond the story campaign, you'll find operations mode. Here, the focus is on cooperation and replayability. Okay. Play as one of six classes with unique- Whoa, 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 wah, 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 wah. Let's go back. Ah, okay. So there's six classes that you can have. So you can have heavy, which is using cataphracty to, um, armor. Is that cataphracty? No, it isn't. Um, okay. So you can have a tactical, an assault, a vanguard, a bulwark, and a sniper. Okay. And I assume these classes will apply to all the chapters. But again, is this just for the co-op mode? Because the co-op mode is basically like a um, Warzone DMZ, where you have like a squad mission, like, you know, capture the flag or something, which I'm fairly sure is what they basically showed here, right? Yeah. I mean, look at this. This is literally just capture the flag. You have to get into the area, get rid of the chaos, tyranid, whatever thing is there, and then you win the, the mission. And again, that's basically a repeat of what Dark Tide was. It was just, you do missions, like with um, a squad of people as one of six classes with unique skills and abilities oh 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 that armor is looking kind of clean though with unique skills and abilities oh brosius look at that so this which class is this this is the heavy so you have a heavy bolter and a bolt pistol okay the emperor provides. then develop and customize them to make them your own whether you oh, that is so cool. That customization aspect is sick. Abilities. Bro, look then at all these options. Jeez. Them to make them your own. Whether you prefer the sniper's stealth cloak and long-range capabilities. Ooh. The oh, the sniper has a stealth cloak. That's sick. Guards grapnel launcher. Oh my god, that would be so overpowered. Guards grapnel launcher. Oh my the gosh. Bulwarks, chapter banner and storm shield combination. Your Space Marine specialty. Huh, so what does the chapter banner actually do, though? Along with those of your squad mates, will be decisive on the battlefield. Oh my gosh, look at these the maps. The more missions you play, the more you'll unlock cosmetics for your Space Marine. Ah, oh, okay, good. So it's not like you buy um, the class, the upgrades. You need to just play through the game to unlock more customizable assets. Amazing feature. Good. Um, also earn XP and armory data that you can spend in the battle barge's armor. Okay, so to level up, you have to basically complete more missions and play the game, and then that unlocks more stuff for you. You'll also earn XP and armory data that you can spend in the battle barge's armory to unlock new class perks and okay. improve your armament's performance. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. So the more you play, the better. Okay, this is what we've been waiting for, the versus mode, the PvP. Eternal war demands eternal discipline. If you're into more competitive challenges, well then you're in for a treat. Oh. Enter the fray in our eternal war mode. 
where you'll be able to pit yourselves against other players. Whoa, okay, so you can fight other people from the same oh, chapter. Because you'll able you've got here an old... Oh, actually, no. Tell a lie. This is a Night Lord killing. I thought this was an Ultramarine killing an Ultramarine. No, this is a Night Lord killing an Ultramarine. So do they make it so that it, you can face people from the same chapter? Because it'd be kind of weird if you have, like, an Ultramarine squad versus another ultramarine squad that's kind of dumb but maybe they make it so that um certain things are impossible able to pit yourselves against other players oh gosh six space marines clash against six of their sworn chaos adversaries that is awesome so they actually make it so that there's a loyalist side and then there's a traitor side Mwah. beautiful that makes it actually so much more interesting so who do you have here so you have a death guard a night lord and an alpha legionnaire Awesome, awesome, awesome. In arenas inspired by the game's rich settings. The only thing I'm a bit scared is the maps, from this point of view, look a little small. Like, they look like there's a lot of sharp corners and not a lot of open space and stuff, which I'm not sure. Use your preferred rule set, be it the intense Annihilation Deathmatch, Strategic oh. Seize Ground, or the exhilarating capture and control. Yeah, so it is basically like Warzone. So you've got capture the flag again. So you and your squad have to take the enemy stronghold. We know that already. Or it can be kind of like um shipment on COD. You know, like when you have like um a small map and it's the greatest number of kills wins or you constantly have to be capturing different positions. That would be super fun. I'm literally going to get lost in that. Then engage in adrenaline pumping matches that will test your skills against players from across the world oh my god each skirmish offers you the chance to earn more xp and add more weapons to your arsenal as you prove your valor on the battlefield oh my god this is ridiculous you know what games workshop and saber you've killed it here because this is this is amazing this is going to make the game last like for a good while which is why i want oh god that's all bro was that a dreadnought that i saw in the background Oh, holy emperor. That is literally a dreadnought. How are you? Wait, so are you going to be able to have like aircraft tanks, stuff like that? Because I know you can play as a guardsman, but clearly you can't do that in the um, traitor versus loyalist squad mode. So how do you get like the guard and the other stuff? Maybe it's just for co-op. I don't know. That's all just a Wait, it can't be just for co-op because you literally see the dreadnought killing like some sort of chaos. Is that a world eater? I don't know. That's all just a taste of what is to come. Oh we God! Can't wait for you to experience the passion and care that our teams have poured into this game. We've got more surprises in store for you to be revealed very soon. This looks amazing! Oh my God! In his name, I will fight. Oh my god, this game is going to be the greatest 40k game ever.